What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. I have listened to you guys. A lot of you have said, Mr. Mr. Boosted, Mr. Boosted, how do we beat Don Dozo? Why, why have you become the Don Ductor and just made Don Dozo so annoying to face? Why am I facing like 90 different variants of Don Dozo? Why is it so annoying to beat and how do I beat it? Well, this video is for you. I listened to the cries of the gamers, and, and I'm going to be making this video specifically for all of you who are struggling with Don Dozo, because truth be told, it's pretty easy to beat. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's not that hard. Um, it's more a factor of uh, being unprepared for the matchup and being outplayed. Don Dozo is the sort of uh, archetype where, like, Everyone has a check for it due to how good it is. Due to how good Don Dozo is, everyone has an option for beating it. So the optimal Don Dozo team is built around removing these options, uh, such as when I use like Gothitelle Sylveon to trap in uh, Haze Murkrow and remove them from play, or Gothitelle Arcanine to trap in Grass types and remove them from play. There's there's a lot of ways to deal with it, uh, and a smart Don Dozo player won't be pulling the trigger immediately. So what I'm going to talk about are the best ways of dealing with it. And these aren't ranked in any particular order, but if I had to rank them, I would say it would be, uh, well, I'll rank them at the end, actually. I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And answer my comment question of the day, which is, uh, do you struggle with Don Dozo? And how do you deal with it? But yeah, oh, that sounds like, like a medical condition. Do you struggle with Don Dozo? How do you do? It sounds like a medical condition. Anyways, let's do this. So uh, number one, and this is the most common Don Dozo answer, uh, it's going to be Amoongus. Now, uh, Amoongus is a, not, I wouldn't say situational Don Dozo answer, but Don Dozo players are quite prepared for it due to the prevalence of Terra Steel. Uh, why does this check Amoongus checking you? Uh, that's because uh, Amoongus relies on Clear Smog to deal with uh, Dozo. Uh, that or it goes with Giga Drain. Uh, and it's just like a generally bulky Pokemon to uh, to mess with it. Uh, but let's talk about Clear Smog, which is the more common option. So uh, Amoongus is a Pokemon with 114 HP, 70 defense, and 80 special defense. It's able to eat a hit from Dozo pretty effectively. Like if we just like go to the damage calculator and we go to... Um, yeah, and we go to like just a general Amoongus. We can see that order up, even if they decide to go with like Terra Dragon at plus two, it's coming nowhere near KOing an Amoongus, meaning that they're able to go for a clear fog onto the Don Dozo, removing all of its stat buffs and making it just a mediocre Pokemon. Because while 150 HP, 115 uh, defense, and 100 attack is like really good, uh, keep in mind that Dozo is only threatening in a two on one situation when it has plus two in every single stat doubling it, uh, meaning that its special defense is no longer, it's like Achilles heel, it's now like no longer able to compensate for that. Uh, so what Amoongus does is it removes those buffs and allows for a partner or grass type or just good special attacker to just annihilate Dondozo and remove, and remove it from play. Honestly, at that point, you're also just able to like set up on it. And like that's, that's really cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, also keep in mind that there are two types of Dondos are running around right now. Unaware uh, is the more common one because it ignores the opponent's stat boosts when dealing damage or receiving damage. And Oblivious is uh, one that's run occasionally. It used to be more popular, but now it's less popular because uh, uh, Unaware is just more reliable. But uh, Oblivious allows you to avoid getting Intimidate cycled. But since Intimidate isn't as common and Dondozo have been opting more for a defensive set, uh, it's, it's not really that big of an issue. So yeah. Uh, the main issue is with the Amoongus checking Dondozo is the fact that Dondozo wants to tear steel a lot of the time, so being steel type will actually make it immune to clear smog. The way that you get around this as an Amoongus player who uses clear smog to deal with Dondozo is you have to put enough pressure on your lead uh, that you want to force the opposing Dondozo uh, to not be the terror target. Like, for this team, um, where's, where's the Dozo team I made recently? Here it is. For this team, I have like a Terra Grass Skeledurge, but it's so important to the game plan that what you have to do is basically gamble one of your pieces, right? So like this Skeledurge's job is to get rid of uh, Meowscarada, which is another thing that's going to be on this list, but it's meant to get rid of Meowscarada. Let's say that you have like a Meowscarada and like a clear smog user on your team. What you have to do is make me want to Terra Grass to save my Skeledurge to get rid of the Meowscarada later. Uh, so that way 
later on I'm not able to Terra my Dozo, and then you take advantage of that and you get in your your clear smog Amoongus and deal with it. But yeah, like you have to you have to play smart to use Amoongus effectively versus Dozo teams, especially if you know they're Terra Steel. If they're not Terra Steel, it doesn't really matter. You just play it however you want, and you'll be fine. Uh, you just wait for them to pull the trigger and then you just clear smog. But like if you know they're Terra Steel, like you're playing open team sheet, you have to make sure that you're forcing them to want to pop the Terra uh, early on in the match so they can't block it. The next one is the most common answer for Don Dozo currently, and that's Haze Murkrow. Uh, the reason for this is that Haze Murkrow, or Murkrow is like the best Pokemon in the format beyond uh, Golden Go, uh, because it is a the only Pokemon with access to Prankster Tailwind. Uh, and you can see Haze is on like almost every Murkrow. It's at 15% usage. It's the fourth most used move. Uh, and yeah, so basically what this does is it allows Murkrow to just get rid of all of Don Dozo's stat boosts. Um, and this like isn't like a hard move to Mur uh, for Murkrow to justify running, even if it's like just for Dondozo, it isn't really just for Dondozo, uh, because so many Pokemon in this format want to set up. Uh, Garchomp, Swords Dance Garchomp is like super common. Uh, Nasty Plot Hydreigon isn't terribly common, but is a thing that can happen. Bulk up Annihilate, uh, yeah, like there's a lot of Nasty Plot Ronin Wash, that's another one. There's a lot of Pokemon that's set up in this format, so being able to haze away those stat changes is always going to be good. So, you know, having the byproduct of, oh yeah, Don Dozo matchups are free, that's also quite good. Uh, beyond that, it wants to partner with Golden Go, so Golden Go can go for Make It Rain, drop to minus one, and then Haze, because it doesn't directly target Golden Go, will actually revert the stat drop, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, Murkrow is just like a very easy Pokemon to slap onto a team if you want to deal with Dozo. You just make sure you don't lose it early on. Like I said, many Dozo teams are built specifically to pick apart your offensive leads, uh, get rid of like the Dozo checks, uh, and then just like get Dozo in in the end game. But yeah, if you play smart, you'll be fine. Uh, also other Haze users, I guess we can take a look at those really quick. There's a lot of Pokemon with Haze. Toxapex is technically a Dozo answer, which is weird. Palafin Hero can eat a hit from Dozo and run Haze, but I don't recommend it. Altaria can, can get Haze and it's pretty defensive. Uh, Gengar is another Haze user that's actually fairly common. If we look at Gengar usage, I don't know if it'll be reflected on Picolytics yet, but like Sash Haze is like pretty decent. Uh, yeah, it's at like 3% usage. It's higher usage than Taunt. Um, and Parish Song and Destiny Bond. So like, it, it's a thing, you know? It's not like super common, but it is a thing. Next up is gonna be Unaware Pokemon. Now, Unaware Pokemon are the kryptonite to Don Dozo, especially since it itself is an Unaware Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, basically, Skeldurge is my favorite check to Dozo that you can have in the game because it checks every variant of Dozo. Uh, if it's running the like Rest Talk set, it's if it's not running fissure because fissure is a thing that's annoying and you can't really predict for that uh but if it's running like the terra steel rest talk set you can't terra steel in front of skeledurge because skeledurge with unaware will ignore your special defense boosts and one to two shot you with uh with torch song and while torch song isn't going to get like the benefit of the plus one versus you because you're also unaware if you're like the dozo player uh, it will chew through your very low special defense stat uh, and allow it to deal with you. Uh, if they're not running the Terra Steel set, if they're like any other Terra, you actually go with Shadow Ball instead because while Dozo with Unaware will ignore your stat changes, you don't ignore your own. So if Skeledurge is able to... Um, what's it called? If Skeledurge is able to get like a minus one off of you, like, you know, partner Pokemon can follow up on that. Like, it's ignoring the initial stat drop, but like, if, but like, partner Pokemon next to it, if it's like a 2v1, will be able to follow up on that pretty effectively and like, get rid of it. So yeah, that's, that's also quite good. It'll allow you to just wall out Dozo and it gets like, slack off and Will-O-Wisp. So if the Dozo is not running Rest, which, while it's like a really common set, it's not like super, 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 super common. Uh, like it's, you, there are still like, Poke there's still Dozo sets that aren't running it right now. Um, then like Will-O-Wisp is just like a, a kryptonite for Dozo. But yeah, that's quite good. Uh, Skeledurge is very good. Other unaware Pokemon uh, that we have access to, if I could not hit the caps lock button right there and actually spell correctly. There we go. Other unaware Pokemon, you know, your own Don Dozo. Uh, uh, Fue Coco, no. Uh, and Claude Sire. Like, look, I don't like Claude Sire, but technically speaking, it is a check to Don Dozo. Uh, if you run like a decent amount of physical defense uh, and you have unaware and haze, you have both of them, right? So you ignore the stat boosts, you calc to live a wave crash, and then you just like beat it. It also has access to toxic, which is quite good versus it. Uh, speaking of toxic, here's actually a thing I've seen some people do. Uh, Glamora is actually technically good for the Dondozo mirror, because if you get those uh, spikes up, then, you know, you can 
prevent Dozo. You, you put Dozo on a timer immediately. Like, that's good. Uh, yeah. And also you have like corrosion if you want to just do like standard toxic. Yeah. Uh, it's not like super reliable, but that is a thing that you could technically do. Next up is going to be Obama Snow. I think Obama Snow is actually a very good check to Don Dozo that a lot of people ignore. Uh, and it's not only the fact that it's like a good check to Don Dozo, but it's a good Pokemon overall. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Don, er, Obama Snow is just like a very solid Pokemon in this format. Uh, the buff to Ice types is that the new Weather Snow, uh, while it doesn't deal damage like Hail, it gives all Ice types a passive 50% boost on their defense stat. Meaning that Obama Snow, if we take a look at this calc, if I can spell right, uh, Obama Snow, max HP, 220 special attack, you know, just like this random set that I found on this website, um, is eating an order up like it's nothing. You're taking less than half, and then you hit it back with, not Energy Ball, I actually think Giga Drain is better if you want to specifically beat Dozo. Uh, your Giga Drain, if they're not Terraing, right? Oh yeah, that's with Terra, by the way. Um, if, you know, if they are Terra Dragon, then you just click Blizzard and like almost one shot up. But if they're like Terra, if they're not Terra, um, if they're not Terra Dragon, if they're just like regular like Water Dozo, you're Giga Drain because like even if they're like plus two special defense, right? Even if they're like plus two special defense, uh, you're still dealing like thirty to forty percent. Uh, you're getting all that health back, and they're not they're not able to beat you effectively. You can also get up your Veil, uh, which will mean that you take like even less damage, and then you like outheal them. Like that's very very good. Uh, Bombastow is also a very splashable Pokemon. Uh, it's actually, I would consider it decent competition for Grimmsnarl in terms of screens, because while uh, Grimmsnarl is like prankster screens, Obama Snow is like a more offensive screens Pokemon that like under Trick Room can deal decent damage with its stabs uh, and is still able to like support the team with the screens for the entire game because it's not hard to run like clay on this dude. So they're, they're going to stay up the entire game if you get up, um, if you get it up early because it's eight turns. So yeah, Obama Snow naturally bulky, naturally able to deal with uh, two variants of Don Dozo uh, and is able to outheal it. So yeah. Final one is going to be Parish Song. Keep in mind that this Parish Song doesn't target Tatsugiri. Uh, Tatsugiri will actually avoid the Parish Song. Um, also, let me put Meowskarat on here before I forget, because I do need to talk about Meowskarat. Uh, the uh, the Tatsugiri will not be targeted by Parish Song, but the Don Dozo will be, uh, and it will be stuck on the field. It can't switch. Don Dozo stuck. It, it, like it's literally it can't switch out. So if you Parish Song and then like just protect or like wall it out with a Zoom Roll, because a Zoom Roll, funny enough, is very very free versus Don Dozo. Uh, if we just take a look at this, right? Uh, yeah, order up, immune to it, earthquake, taking nothing, wave crash, less than 50%, uh, less than 40% even. Like, Azumarill is very, very easily able to eat the Dozo hit. And this is like on a, this is like counter like a less defensive uh, Azumarill, just like almost max HP, 12 special defense. Mine's a little bit bulkier. I have four defense, 244 HP, like 116 special defense, like that sort of thing. Like even this, like is gonna be able to wall it out pretty effectively and then you just protect with partner Pokemon. Uh, there are other Parish Song users, of course, um, and keep in mind, this only gets rid of Dozo. You still have to get, you still have to deal with Tatsugiri, but you know, Gengar gets it, Honcho gets it, Murkrow even gets it, but I think Haze is better for him. Uh, Screamtail, when that becomes legal, will get it. Wigglytuff can use it. There's a lot of options here. Uh, I think it's a decent answer if you want to fit it onto a team. And Paris Trap isn't entirely dead. Finally, I think the hardest answer for Don Dozo that forces opponents to prep for it before they even like get onto the field, like to, you have to like build for this in team preview. Uh, Flower Trick is literally the Don Dozo answer, uh, whether it's like Protean or like just Sash uh, Overgrow, um, or ban Protean or Sash Overgrow. Flower Trick does a ton to Don Dozo. So here, let's take a look at this damage. Uh, keep in mind, it's always a crit, so uh, Meowskarada doesn't care about any stat boosts. Flower Trick versus Don Dozo at plus two. It's not going to matter. I'm just going to put it on there for the sake of putting it there. 64 to 75% uh, to a boosted Don Dozo uh, with Flower Trick. Uh, so yeah, that's quite a bit of damage. You know, if it Terra's, it like walls it out. So Terra Steel is technically an answer for this. Uh, but let's say that they're running the Choice Banded set. The Ascarada Choice Band Protean. Yeah, it's a roll to one shot. Like that's the biggest thing here. So keep in mind, Meowskarada, you could literally just slap it onto a team, force the opponent to pop the Terra, and then their Doze is a sitting duck. But yeah, uh, if I had to rank them in terms of how effective of an answer they are, like, here's the thing, I'm going to rank it by two methods. It's how effective of an answer it is, and how non-committal it is. If I had to do that, Meowskarada's number one. Um, I would say that I lost Skeledurge. Skeledurge is not here. Uh, Unaware is number two. Amoogus is number three, 
Abomin Snow, less reliable, but very non-committal. Uh, you know, that's a thing. Oh wait, I forgot Haze. Hold on, let me let me clear this out. Let me clear this out. I'm gonna rank him right here. If I could remember what Pokemon I had on here. <laughs> Yeah, you know, YouTuber moment, YouTuber moment. Okay, so what was it? It was uh, Clear Smog, Unaware, Obama Snow, Parish Song, Meowskarada. Okay, rankings. Meowskarada, least committal, most reward. Um, unaware Pokemon, same thing. Uh, not as committal, not as much reward, but still like a very good in both departments. Uh, Murkrow is easy to play around in my opinion but very reliable if you can like play it right you have to play well uh amoongus is actually funny enough gonna go i, I think i'm gonna have to put it yeah it's above obama snow uh amoongus is like pretty pretty reliable with uh clear smog uh obama snow easy to slap onto a team especially if you have like a trick room option uh and is pretty okay at dealing with don dozo and azumarill is pretty committal because you have to already want to be running like a parish trap team or at least have Parish Song as like a, a move on the on the Pokemon. Uh, and it's not guaranteed to fix the issue. So yeah, yeah, that's gonna be my ranking. If you guys enjoyed or learned anything new, please leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.